What's up, everybody? Cryptic here, back with your daily GTA 5 roleplay videos, live streams, and more. And today, for you guys, I got a real banger for you, and we're gonna be going over exactly how you guys can start roleplaying on GTA 5. And if we're all being completely honest with ourselves right now, it is just like 5M in most ways, so you guys are gonna love it. Stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, first things first, an average day on PD would look pretty much just like this. You just kind of get in your cruiser and start patrolling around the AOP, or the patrol area, area of play, whatever you guys like to call it. We're just gonna keep our ears open for the radio, see if we get any calls, anything like that. I'll throw up on screen for you guys exactly what we get when we get EMS or 911 reports. It looks really cool, as you guys can see on screen now. Just saying. Alrighty, I'm gonna pull over real quick here so we can throw our seatbelt on. There we go. Alrighty. And really quick here, I'm gonna throw on my body cam because, you know, we're gonna need that. Let's get our vehicle open up here. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, I th think I left my body cam in here somewhere. There we go. All that's on. We actually wanna close this really quick. Alrighty, we're good to go. Okay, we're gonna go back on duty now. And, uh, yeah, as you guys can tell, server is pretty intuitive. I mean, at first glance, you're going to probably have your doubts and your skepticism, and you're going to think this none of this is real, none of this is actually happening. And then you're going to join the server, you're going to see that it actually is, and none of what I'm saying is a lie. It's all completely true, and there is so much fun to be had in the server. You guys are going to love it. And... What are some other things that you guys are going to need to know? Well, first things first, when you do join the server, by the way, link in the description, there are a couple things to note when you join and read the How to Join channel. You will be greeted with a How to Join channel. That is kind of the main channel you're going to need to get into this whole kind of thing. So read that, and after you're done reading that, you're going to see a channel called Applications right below it, which is, of course, going to have your application for Whitelist, PD, and so on. And if you guys think you'd be fit for staff, definitely let me know. I mean, wouldn't mind having more staff. All right, before we go in any further, I'd like to uh, fill up my freaking car here real quick. Get a little bit more gas than it at the least. All right. All right, good to go. Let's hop back in. All right, get our seatbelt back on here. Good to go. All right. So when you guys do join, there are going to be a couple things you guys are going to need to note, of course. So one really important thing that I don't think I can stress enough is this goes for literally anybody in the server is if you don't read the how to join channel at all from any point from start to finish there's a pretty good chance you're going to end up asking us what you need to do next if you do read every part of the how to join channel you won't need to ask us that because it has everything you need so first things first if your playstation network username is set to hidden on rockstar social club that's going to be a big no-no from us you're going to have to go and set that to everyone or make it public the way you do that is you go to your account settings and then privacy and you'll see the option to set it to everyone as long as you don't have an underage account if you do have one probably best to make a new rockstar social club account and uh just link it to your current psn account it's pretty rare people ever have underage rockstar social club accounts but in the case that you might that's what you gotta do okay right, we're gonna post up over here just really quick do a bit of radar all righty there we go all right there we go I was just putting some guns in the back of my cruiser really quick Alrighty, good to go. Alright, so we're gonna wait and see if uh, we get any speeders along the road here. And uh, in the meantime, we'll go over the rest of how to join the server. Another thing that's really important to note is if your PlayStation Network username that you will be asked for on your application is incorrect, we will instantly deny the application. Now, if you're wondering how to avoid this, how can it be incorrect? It's my PSN, I made it. Well, what we mean by that is if it has like a space in it or something, well, PSNs can't actually have spaces in them, Sony doesn't allow that, so if we see that, we know it's immediately incorrect. It's kind of odd sometimes when we do see that, we think maybe people are just like on Xbox and aren't really sure what that is, and maybe they just think we're just assuming PSN means gamer tag generally, but just make sure that you guys give us the correct username in full, start to finish. One thing that's really good to note is we can kick players from our sessions almost pretty much instantaneously without any prior warning, and the only reason we have this available is because we get some people sometimes that like to be trolls or grief the server and ruin people's fun so yeah it's kind of a thing we have to do for instance the other day we had someone in an avenger fly into pd but they almost didn't really actually do anything because i was able to kick them out of the session before they even landed but of course you can't just go around flying an avenger or doing that kind of stuff but you guys are here because you're looking for a good roleplay server to join you're not gonna have to worry about all that but it's good to know that failure to follow our rules will result in strikes we do have a strike system so you'll get one strike two strikes three strikes and after that on your third strike you will be blacklisted quite frankly so the best way to avoid that is just to like not get blacklisted don't get strikes the rules are really easy to abide by all right we're gonna go somewhere else for a quick sec here something else you should probably note is giving blatantly low effort answers for questions will also result in an immediate denial it's good to note that like putting effort into this i mean you guys are trying to get into a good roleplay server 
and the roleplay we have in Horizon is really good. However, of course, what that means is we're not just going to let any person applying in. If you don't have a good application, believe it or not, you're going to get denied. That doesn't mean you can't reapply. It just means you're going to get denied until you give us a good enough application to prove that you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about, and you write our rules. So if you're also answering a question and you just give the answer, I don't know, then, well, that's another thing that's going to get you instantly denied. If you really don't know, backtracking the rules, go read. If you really need to Google something, if you think that's what you need to do, feel free but just to give you guys a bit of clarity everything you do need is in the rules and in the how to join channel so yeah make sure you read all that oh as well as a frequently asked questions channel that's good to check out as well it's gonna have well all of your frequently asked questions that you guys will most likely end up asking also answering questions about our rules incorrectly will also result in an immediate denial believe it or not we've had people give us answers to questions from other roleplay servers they don't even realize that they copy and pasted the question as well and usually it has the name of the server in it and yeah so just like make sure you read everything also something to note is don't copy and paste answers to questions from the rules because this makes it so that the staff members in the server that are part of our application team actually can't look at the application it makes it too in quote large to view in discord which is not great and then you know they can't view your application and they just either ignore it or deny it immediately and you'll have to retry until you actually read the how to join channel and do it correctly I'm not trying to sound like a caring about it, but you know, if I get you guys the information out now that you need to apply later, you'll know exactly how to join and you won't have any problems. Hold up one second here. I'm having engine problems in my car and I don't really know what's going on here. As you guys can tell, we're getting a notification in game right now for the AOP being Los Santos. I'm just a little confused right now. My car just stopped working all of a sudden. I'm going to try to start it again. I just, I don't know. I think it's a spark plug. Let's try this again. Oh, wait. Okay. That works. Okay, cool. Awesome, I was a little bit worried about that. Uh, let's just get our code closed. Righty, good to go. But yeah, if you guys are wondering, that is pretty much it. There's not really a lot else to joining. I mean, it is a really simple process and everything you need is gonna be in that channel. And it is described very, very, very much descriptively. So of course, you know, you're gonna have all the information you need. So no worries there. And if you guys need to, always feel free to come back to this video to refer to it again in case maybe you needed some more of a visual representation on how to join. And if you're wondering, well, why do I want to join the server? I mean, you just told me how, but what are some reasons why I'd even want to join in the first place? What does this server have over any other server? I'm glad you asked. Resident Roleplay offers a myriad of features and abilities that no other console roleplay server has ever offered before. There's going to be some things you guys are going to see in here that you're not going to even know was possible. For one, you guys can craft not only drugs, but guns as well. They also have a looting mechanic, an inventory system, and a custom economy. Yeah, that's right. There's looting and crafting. So you guys can not only mine, pan for gold, and go fishing, but you can also loot materials out of things like cars, dumpsters, and crates, and use those things to craft other things. If you like, you could sell it, get rid of it, or you can just give it to your friend. Totally up to you guys. One thing, though, that we pride ourselves on in the community that's most important to us is good roleplay and a unique character. Everybody should have a unique character with their own personality, not just some faceless thug that wears a ski mask all day and just tries to rob and kill. That's really boring, and stuff like that's going to end up probably just getting you guys striked and kicked because that sounds like something that could only possibly lead to a lot of repetitiveness, and eventually that player will eventually get bored of that and end up breaking the rules so don't do it i mean realistically if you come up with a creative character the server will in turn reward you by giving you guys really fun and creative roleplay kind of how the roleplay is fun is based on the actual players and their creativity usually how most roleplay servers work but that is about it for today's video guys and i just wanted to explain exactly why you want to join horizon it is i want to say probably or maybe or could possibly be the best roleplay server on console but if i said that I'd only be telling half the truth. Guys, it's the best one you could possibly get. I'm not suiting my own horn here. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about once you join. Link in the description. There is no age limit. Before you guys go, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you're new because it really does help out a ton. And without further ado, I'll see y'all later. Have an awesome day and peace out.